I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope for your Aquarius for the week of May the 23rd. Now we just had quite a disruptive weekend on the uh, weekend of the 21st and 22nd. Um, so I mean, uh, I'm, we're heading into this weekend, so I'm actually recording this before the weekend. But you know what? I can feel the energy. It's like uh, intense. So there's a full moon, Mercury comes out of retrograde, and um, there's an opposition between the Sun and Mars. So all that intenseness energy goes into this next week. Um, we commence in the 23rd, so it's still there at the start of the of the week. So you want to let that settle down a little bit before you make any major decisions or changes or even have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Now, particularly around your family area because Mercury is in your solar fourth house, so this is around your home, family. And even though Mercury is now out of retrograde, hooray, it's one of my least favorite transits. Um, you know, it's in that storm part of the transit. So hence it's still got that sort of disruption happening. Now the, the sun on Friday the 19th just moved in to uh, your solar fifth house. This is very good for creativity, very good for working with people, um, connecting with people, great for love. If you're looking for love, then, you know, it can be a great time for love. Um, and uh, Venus is going to move into this area this uh, this week, so on the Tuesday, the 24th. Uh, so this is, as I said, it's great for love. It's also a terrific time to sort of double check your um, presentation and make sure you're presenting yourself uh, in a way that you want to be perceived. Um, but this position your chart is good for networking and negotiating for business and it's good for socializing, getting out there and connecting on a romantic or on a more social level. Now particularly as Mars is in your area of friendships and social um, events and Venus is going to be opposite Mars um, midweek. So with this connection, it's like the opposition between an opposition traditionally can be, a, it's a hard aspect, it can be confronting. In this case, it's Venus and Mars are both immutable signs. It softens it off. Mars is retrograde, so it's softened again, and it can be the trigger. So something can sort of come together for you, which can be very positive in that sense to do around certainly your social life, also great to doing some communi community work and charity work as well. Now Mars will move back into your uh, career zone, so back because it's retrograde and uh, this will help you just get more organized uh, for, for work and your career, okay? And uh, uh, towards the end of the week we have a square between Jupiter and Saturn. Opposite energies, Saturn is uh, cautious and Jupiter is expansive. Uh, so there can sort of be some conflict around working with um, people and uh, particularly with finances and particularly if you've got something going on with friends and money then it's going to help you just lock things down and get sort of to more of the reality of the situation. So even though it's conflicting energies it does help to balance things out and keep things grounded and real. Okay. All right, have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.